you're just in time. Better three hours too soon than a minute late. You know it's about time for a new smartwatch, and for quite some time now, Huawei has been bringing some of the most power efficient and accurate smartwatches to the wearable tech space in the form of the GT range. And after nine years of R&D into smartwatches and smart bands, the Huawei Watch GT4 is here. So the question you might have is, what has Huawei improved this time? And what new features will you get if you get one or if you upgrade from a previous version of the GT Watch? Well, those are questions that you'll find the answers to right here in this video. And let me kick this off by saying that the battery life has an interesting upgrade and it's probably not what you think it is, so stick around. Let's start with the design. The two models available are the 46 millimeter and the 41 millimeter, and the two styles are very different. In this video, I'm gonna focus more on the 46 millimeter version because that's the one that Huawei have sent me to test and the one that I've been using for a little while now. So, the design. For the first time, Huawei has given the main body of the watch case a new angular octagonal shape, which differentiates it from the more commonly seen circular smartwatches and the rectangular smartwatches that we see from Apple. They call this new approach to the design, the watchmaker's perspective, and a fusion of style and tech is what Huawei are going for here with the GT4. This new shape gives it more of a modern look, and the Huawei GT4 watch appears to be thinner than previous models, even though the thickness is actually pretty much the same. And I think it's because of the new design and particularly on this stainless steel model, the way the metal contrasts with the black ceramic on the back, it kind of creates the illusion of a thinner watch. The display on the larger model is a 1.43 inch AMOLED with 466 by 466 resolution and 326 pixels per inch. The smaller version has the exact same resolution, but because it's smaller, it's more pixel dense at 352 pixels per inch and I must say they both look sharp and vibrant and by today's standards I don't think anybody would be disappointed with the clarity here on these watches. There are four versions of the 46 millimeter available. There's the black rubber which is the entry level. This retails at 249 at launch. There's the brown leather, the stainless steel and the rainforest green GMT and if you do want to check the most up-to-date prices on any of these models there will be an affiliate link below this video and if you use that, you will be supporting the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, it's not just the pricing and the straps that are different here. There are some subtle design changes between all of them. For example, the black rubber version has a raised bezel around the screen to protect that hardened glass from scratches. On the more formal versions, like this one, the stainless steel, the bezels sit flush with the glass surface, giving it more of a sleek and business-like look. The green GMT variant has the addition of a secondary bezel for keeping track of your time in different time zones around the world using the classic GMT method. And the strap on the Rainforest version is more rugged than some of the other ones, and parts of it are fabricated from recycled nylon. And I'm a fan of this style, and something that's worth noting about all of the watch straps on the GT4 range is that the first party Huawei watch straps have been purpose built for these watches and you can see that by the way the steel bracelet fits to the watch here. It just has more of a seamless finish to it but you can change them out for any watch strap if the watch pins are the correct size and the stainless steel version that I have here you'll see there's a quick release system on the underside and there's also quick release systems to lengthen or shorten the bracelet and they do throw in a few extra links in the box if you have particularly thick wrists. And also Huawei have kindly sent me over the rubber strap so I can show you guys how easy it is to transform this kind of business looking bracelet into something more suitable for the gym. The body of all of the watches are stainless steel and sealed up to meet the five ATM standard. So that's five atmospheres it can withstand, which means you can go swimming with this pretty deep and it does have IP68 ingress protection as well. The display protection on all of the watches is what Huawei calls 3D hardened glass. Unfortunately, not the Kunlun glass we see on the P60 Pro, but still, is very strong. The sensor array layout on the back is pretty much identical to previous versions of the watch, but there are some noteworthy upgrades to the software, which I'll return to in a moment. When you look closely at the watch, you'll see the speaker grill and the mic grill are discreetly hidden on the ceramic underside of the watch. The Qi wireless charger is in the box, and yes, you can charge this with any Qi wireless charging mats. Now the smaller version of the GT4 is one millimeter smaller than the previous version, which is not a massive difference, and Huawei have gone for this kind of pendant look. The design is best described as elegant, the bezels all the way around are quite skinny, giving it a very seamless look. 
Overall, the 41 mm is quite similar to the previous version of the watch, but there are some new color options available, including a special edition one, which Huawei called the two-tone piano key color. It's kind of a gold and silver combo. It looks classy and very fashionable. There's also the white leather and the Milanese, which is the kind of gold style bracelet. Now let's talk about the usability. The button placement on both models are the same as before with the two button layout. The lower button is a shortcut to your activity tracking modes, and you can customize these activities to whatever you want them to be. The larger crown has double functionality with a button push to take you to the home screen of the watch, and you can use the crown to scroll around and navigate the UI without having to touch the screen. So this is gonna be particularly handy for sports where you're wearing gloves. And just like before, there are over 100 fitness tracking modes with the addition of soccer and paddle. Soccer, AKA football here in Europe. It is the world's most popular sport. So it's really good to see it finally here on the Huawei watches. The paddle mode, however, <laughs> I'm not sure that's quite as popular. And also some of my favorites are still here. So that's good to see. There are 18 pro training courses available preloaded on the watch and more medals are up for grabs now than before if you need that extra motivation. There's also an improved stay fit goal calendar so you can set your goals and the purpose designed watch face will help you set reminders for eating, sleeping, drinking and exercising and it'll even come up with a daily plan for you to follow. So with nine years of research into R&D, Huawei have got the GT4 watch to where the heart rate monitoring is between 97 and 99% accurate in comparison to professional grade medical equipment that you might see in a hospital. That's pretty impressive, especially when some other watches have been proven to be not so accurate. Also using the Huawei Health app, you can connect the watch to third party fitness tracking devices as well. And if you're wondering about compatibility with iOS, for example, it does support iOS and Android and pretty much all of the features will work. Of course, the wallet and NFC payments via the watch are a bit more tricky at the moment, but in some parts of the world, you will be able to put your bank cards on there and pay via the watch and the GPS on the GT4 is now notably better than before. Thanks to the watch's new dual band GNS chip and the improved positioning of the antennas. So this watch now uses what Huawei called the Sunflower GPS tracking system. And to explain it really simply, even when the watch is not pointed up at the sky, it can still establish a strong connection to the satellite systems, no matter which way it's facing. So this means more accurate positional tracking data, and it's much less likely to lose GPS even even when in a built up city with loads of high rise buildings. And of course, this is beneficial, not just for the Huawei health app tracking, but also for third party apps such as Strava, Komoot, Runtastic, and Huawei's own Petal Maps will also be improved thanks to this upgrade. The sensor software has been leveled up to TrueScene 5.5 plus, which improves data accuracy even in harsh conditions. So this makes it ideal for the UK. The sleep tracking has also been improved and the true sleep version on this one is 3.0. And this brings an all new sleep breathing awareness feature and also continuous heart rate and SpO2 tracking while you sleep. And what's impressive is that it can do this without dramatically impacting the battery life. There's also a new smart cycle calendar for the ladies, which could double up as a useful early warning system for you fellas out there. And an improved health community feature, which allows you to share your fitness data with friends and family or training partners. And like before you have the activity rings, but now you have more control over the goals that you want to achieve each day. And if losing weight is a priority for you, there's a stay fit scientific calorie tracker built into the watch, which could be worth its weight in gold. And you can set one of the tiles for this specifically or use the watch face. The overall UI has been subtly upgraded. The GT4 is running the latest software. It is Harmony OS. 4.0 and if you've used previous versions of the watch you might notice that the grid menu animations and smoothness overall are just improved you can have seven tiles active and these new widgets are now more customizable than before so you can have quicker access to the data that matters to you and also create shortcuts within these widgets to apps that you use the most and there are more ui improvements in the form of improved quick replies video call notifications and improved bluetooth calling from the watch and the always on display is now more customizable than before, why we actually say that it's 20% more customizable thanks to the addition of more elements on the always on display. And this means you can have more data on display even when the watch is using minimal power. But these are specific to the Huawei watch faces of which there are 12 preloaded on the watch, but there are more than 10,000 more watch faces available 
on the Huawei Health app, some of which are official designs from Huawei as well. And something else that's new to the UI is the ability to have floating windows on top of your regular watch face. For example, if you start a timer, you'll notice there's a little timer widget that will stay there on the watch just to let you know it's running in the background. And I'm sure this could be very handy. Now let's talk about the battery life. The GT4 still has that legendary 14 day battery on the 46 millimeter. It's seven days on the 41 millimeter, but now you can have more tracking data on all the time and always on display. And get this, this is that feature I mentioned at the beginning. You can reverse wireless charge other devices from this watch. The battery isn't huge at 524 milliamp hour, but this does mean if you do run out of juice on your phone in an emergency, you might be able to get a couple of extra percent into your phone in order to make that emergency phone call. So in theory, this watch could be a lifesaver. Also, if your earbuds run out of power, you could also charge those on the back of the watch because you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And just like before, you can store music on the device locally and connect Bluetooth headphones over Bluetooth 5.2 to listen to music even if you don't have your phone with you. And if you do have the phone and the watch, you can control your audio using the media controls on the watch. And if you have a Huawei device, there is a camera shutter button app preloaded on. And there's also a third party version of this that will work with all phones. And there are some new features which are in the research and development phase at the moment, such as the high altitude blood saturation measuring and the body glucose awareness feature. And having used this watch for a little while now, I really like the haptics motor on this. It's not too strong, it's just right to alert you when you need to be alerted. So if you're looking for an alternative to the Apple watch or maybe the Samsung watch, and you want something that has phenomenal battery life and accurate tracking features, Features, the Huawei GT4 should be a front runner for you. It is a watch that works around the clock with its 24 hour heart rate monitoring, blood oxygen monitoring, sleep analysis and stress management. It really is a great watch. And I appreciate you guys for watching this kind of summary of the upgrades and features here on the GT Watch 4. If you want a follow up video with the answers to more of your questions, make sure you leave those questions in the comments below. And if I get enough, I'll do another video dedicated to answering those questions. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Don't be late. Better three hours too soon than a minute late.